Again, it's a huge pleasure to be here with you guys and show you guys some awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get into it because there's quite a lot of ground that we need to cover today. So I'm just going to quickly share my screen with you guys. There's all these other windows and um, you should, you, you guys, can you guys see my iPad on the screen? Perfect. Okay, so um, today we're going to be looking at, at series shortcuts. Now, the, the first thing is um, a series shortcuts is basically um, a, a way where you can take multiple actions and make it into one single, um, uh, if you want to call it an app, you can do it, but into one single action. Right, so um, basically, if you want to do multiple things into one go, then you can build it into a series shortcut or short terms, shorter shortcut. Um, so that is found, as you can see, it's on my dock at the moment. I've been using it quite extensively, and that's the icon of it. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by going straight into the interface and, and show you what it looks like. So if I go into my Siri shortcut, what you have is, and I'm using my iPad for this, the, the iPhone, I'll show you quickly um, afterwards if I've got some time what the interface looks like on that side. So yeah, I've got the, um, on the top uh, left-hand side, I've got my edit button. Now the edit button is just, if you, if you tap on it, it just gives you, um, makes it basically editable where you can either uh, uh, delete a shortcut, which is this one here that I've got made already. Um, just going to tap on done. And on the right hand side, I can um, um, add create a new shortcut by tapping on the plus. And at the bottom, I've got additional buttons, which I'm going to kind of um, show you guys in a minute. So um, I'm first going to tap on the plus. Now, if I tap on the plus, this is now where I can create a new shortcut. Um, so to create a new shortcut, I can go into various uh, um, options where I can uh, just tap on it and it can gives me, now if I should say, for instance, tap the apps, it will give me um, different actions I can use within those apps. So in other words, if I now say, I want to do a greeting for myself, right? So then I can, um, first of all, um, put in like a, a little text file, right? And I can now type into that text. I can say, um, it must say, uh, hello, Angelo. And I can then take that text file and um, make it into a Out of there, and I can take that text file and make it into an audio file. Apologies, let me just put on my do not disturb. So I can I can take that text file and make it into a into an audio file. Then, um, so then I can go into uh, a, a another one. So I can go into my media and I can then add in a to make it into a, and I can add in another, uh, another action to it and that will then follow through, okay? Now, that is just roughly in terms of how we can, how we can add a, a put in a shortcut together. However, in my shortcuts, I can also um, select pre-existing shortcuts. So in other words, if I now decide that I want to now um, not build the shortcut, I just want to select shortcuts that was made already. And this is where things become interesting. If I go to the gallery, then in the gallery, it gives me a whole range of different shortcuts. And what's so cool about it is, is that it's all broken down into different categories. And we can go from our essentials where we can uh, set audio output, home, ETA, and so on. But now say, for instance, I... I want to now maybe 
use a shortcut. I saw the shortcut the other day, which um, will share my, avail my availability, you know, my available times in my calendar. And I can see, share that with, with any of my clients or friends and so on. So instead of me going and looking for it here, right, uh, I think it's somewhere in my essentials, I've got a search bar at the top. So I can just type in share availability. And there we go. So now I can select that shortcut. Now if I select it, it comes up with this window and I can now um, see what the actions are. There's about 40 different actions in there. Um, but I'm not going to still look at the actions. I'm just going to say add shortcut. So this will now be added to my library. Um, there's also another one, which is um, share location. So now I can easily um, uh, uh, search for this, this, the, the shortcuts inside of my gallery. Alternatively, you can just go through it and select it straight from the list. So from there, I can just um, add the shortcut. So now I've got those two shortcuts added already, right? So now if I go back to my, um, to my library, I'm just gonna tap on my shortcuts here at the bottom. So I've got those, those two shortcuts uh, set down. Now if I go to my, um, into my location, so like I mentioned to you guys, a shortcut consists of multiple actions as you guys could see. So if I should um, uh, uh, play that shortcut or select it, then it will do this action. So first of all, it says um, it, that it wants to access my location settings. So I say, okay. And you can see that it's, it's got the little stop button as it is busy now. So there, now it comes up and shows a little message right, like a, 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 um, a new message where I can just put in the recipient name. It gives, as you, as you can see at the bottom, it gives me the map. Um, it will show me the map as well as give the coordinates of my location. However, I want to tweak this uh, shortcut a little bit more. So I'm going to go cancel and I'm going to tap on the ellipsis or the little button with the dots on it. So if I tap on that, it takes me into the shortcut and here you can see it's a different action so it's built into it. So yeah, I can see it's, it, it gets the location, it then puts it into a, a different action and then it carries that action through, it carries it through to the message, right? And yet it says recipient. Now the recipient comes up and it was all blank, but say now I want to send it to, to specifically a, a, a recipient, then I can tap on that recipient and I can add in from my contacts the recipient. So say for instance, I want to send it to my darling wife, then I can then add her into it and done. So now it will add her, her contact in straight. And I can broaden this main message where it says the map URL. I can tap into it. Right, and there's my um, insertion point. I'm just going to move it to the beginning of 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 my of of um, that quote, and I can say this is my current location. Okay, and I tap on done. Now this time around, if I do send it, it's now going to send it straight to her name, but just to make it interesting, I'm actually going to change this and I'm going to make it rather to myself. And done. So now I've tweaked that, that action a little bit more and I'm just going to play it through. And this time around, you would notice that it doesn't actually uh, come up with the, the message. It will actually just send the location straight, and there it comes and it sends it straight to my, to my, to myself. Okay, and you can see the the message at the bottom. It it now came up with that little sentence what I put in there. Okay, so you can tweak it a little bit more if you want to. 
Now, that is the share location. That, uh, we can go into share availability. So if I wanted to now send my availability or my available times that's in my calendar, remember you, you have now populated your calendar with all your different appointments and so on. So now a client phones you up or a friend phones you up and they want to see when you are available and you can actually just go into that shortcut, tap on it. We want to go into it, here we go. Tap on it and first thing it pops up, it asks you for um, which date uh, are you referring to. So I'm, so I'm gonna go with, let me go on the 9th of June, okay? And I tap on okay. And yeah, it asked me to, to access my calendar. I say, okay. And it, it asked to whom I wanna send it to. I'm gonna send it to as a message. And there you can see that it shows me I'm free on that day between those times and those times until the end of the day. Okay. So pretty, pretty cool shortcut there. So that is to do with series shortcuts and guys, there are tons of shortcuts sitting in the gallery. So if we go to the gallery, then you can easily see, uh, let me just kill that. You can easily see there is on all the different categories and you can see which one is more for you and for your needs, okay? Now that is, that is the one thing about shortcut galleries. The other thing I also wanna bring you to is the following. Now, one thing about the, the reason why they called it a Siri shortcut is the name of that shortcut you can also use in Siri. So say for instance, I go to Siri, share locations. Just a sec. So it's now gonna do that straight through Siri. Stand by please. Ready you see? To send using messages. So it works directly through Siri. Now the, the same thing, now that is pretty cool. And guys, I've deleted quite a few of my shortcuts because I wanted to make this special for you guys. But the one thing that is extra to the shortcuts is um, automation. Now, unlike shortcuts where you have to execute it with using either Siri or just tap on it within the app. Automation executes it via meeting a certain criteria, right? So if I go to automation, I can set up a personal automation or um, I set up home hub. This is now to work with your, um, if you've got those automatic lights that you can use your Mac to turn on through, through the home app. Um, you can also set up a automation for that purpose. But I want to create a personal automation and here it gives you the, the different things that can trigger that, right? So um, there are different um, categories here. Um, so just to use a quick example, I'm going to create one that, you know, um, I tend to, I hate traffic guys. So I tend to stay at the office till about half past six quarter off pass, quarter to seven, and then I would leave. But sometimes, you know, many times my wife would be like, yeah, you're too late, you're, you should have found me, blah, 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 you know? So what I did was I created an automation that can actually send it as I'm leaving the office at that time. So now I look like a good little soldier every time, you know? So the way I've done it was I, I went to my travel and I said, leave, and the location I choose. So I'm at the location at the moment, but normally my work location is saved into my contact so I can easily find it. So yeah, I'm at the location so I can say current location, but I've got it saved already. So I'll go with King David Mowbray Golf Club, right? And there it picks it up. I tap on done, done in the top uh, right hand corner. And yeah, it says anytime. Okay, I doesn't want any time when I'm leaving the office, I wanna go with the date, the time range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with, try that again. I'm gonna go from a six, <clears throat> beg your pardon, 30 to 6.45. There we go, and done. And now 
I've, I've set my criteria, so I'm gonna go next, and you have to put in my action. So my action is it must send a message, send a WhatsApp, and so on. So I'm gonna go with uh, add an action, and that should be under my apps category, and in there there's messages, and the one that I wanna select is send message, okay? And what the message must say is, you know, I can say, um, I, what's it, is it? I am leaving now, comma, will be home in about 25 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Again, tap on recipient, select, um, again, my, my other half, and select her number, and done. And say next, and say done. So now I've got an automation set up. You know, if I leave the office at that time, it's gonna send a message saying that. So pretty cool. Um, we can make this up a little bit more interesting and we can add in, say, another automation. Right, and I can say, look, um, um, I don't have a fancy car with car play in it, but I do have Bluetooth. So I want to now maybe say, listen, if I'm gonna um, get into my car with my phone, it must say, tell me something very nice to myself to make me feel good and all that other beautiful stuff. So I can say if Bluetooth, right and i can choose the device and oh i see my 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 let me just what i'll do is let me quickly switch to my phone instead because on my on my one device it's not i don't i see i don't have my my um my phone picked up Okay. Here we go. So um, again, this is my Siri shortener. This is what the interface looks like on the phone. And as you guys have picked up, that it is actually cloud-based. Right, so whatever you do on the one device will filter through to the other one. So again, into my automation, I'm gonna tap on the plus, uh, personal, go to Bluetooth. Um, this time around, I'm gonna choose my device. And under the sync is that still sync with my car. I say done. And so I've done my, um, my, my, my criteria. So I say next and my action so I'm gonna now put a nice little text message to it. So I'm gonna go to uh, documents. So I'm gonna select text. Text, okay. And then I'm gonna say, hello, Angelo. And Add in another one and check this out, guys. Now I can say that it must also speak that text, right? So, <clears throat> beg your pardon, I can also now speak that text um, and I can give it a nice little other message and so on. So, next. And that is my action for that. So, when I get into the car, connect, it's going to tell me the message before it even starts playing the music and so on. So that's pretty cool. Now, remember I mentioned to you guys about the fact that it is, it is cloud-based and so on, right? The other thing that I want to bring to your attention is this. So if I go to my settings on my device and I go to my shortcut settings, right? And this is what you will see on your shortcut settings. So you can switch on Cloud Sync. So if you've got an iPad and you're building your, your Siri shortcuts there, it will then filter through to your phone, vice versa. 
Um, and this option here that I want you guys also to, to, to take note of this, allow untrusted shortcuts. Beg your pardon? So what this means is, is that, um, remember we got the shortcuts from the gallery earlier on this, there's hundreds of shortcuts in there, but we also get another third party website or third party websites where you can get shortcuts from. Now, if you don't have this switched on, then what it will do is it will actually not download those short shortcuts. But if you switch it on, it will come up with this message saying, Apple does not review shortcuts outside of the gallery. Running shortcuts from untrusted sources can put your personal data at risk. So guys, it's a little bit of a risk that you're taking there. However, depending on who's sending you the shortcuts or where you're getting the shortcuts from, I'm gonna show you a trusted website that myself and Alan or Alan have showed me as well um, that we use. Okay, so I'm gonna say allow at this point and I'm gonna put in my, my, um, my key lock, there we go. So now um, the website that we go into is, um, uh, shortcutsgallery.com okay so yeah what we have is we've got quite a lot of shortcuts this is awesome these shortcuts is brilliant guys um flip i get I, if you get into this thing it's awesome let me show you a couple of cool ones right so if i go to all right um, um there's one shortcut that is meant for us fellow South Africans living in the wild, wild west where ESCOM pulled the plug any time they feel like I'm just say load shedding, right? So the one that I would recommend is called the emergency app. Oh, sorry, not app, say that again. The emergency shortcut. So there's a, quite a few guys. Um, there are actually three different ones. There's the one that does a video as well and so on. Let me quickly explain to you guys because I see we are out of time. So what it will do is it will send an emergency message to the recipient of your choosing and it will take a video as well and it will send you the location, um, the location coordinates as well as the map location to that recipient. So this one here you will see it's quite basic. Just say send the emergency message. I'll message quickly in seconds. And this one is uh, to get your location, IP address, and so on. So I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And there I say get shortcut and open. And it will automatically add it to my library. Right. Now, before it, add, before it adds it to the library, it shows you all of the different um, um, actions that's built into the shortcut. I say add untrusted shortcut, and it's been added to my shortcuts library, and here it is. And guys, before I even download a shortcut, what I always do, just as good practice, so I tap on the ellipsis, right? And in my ellipsis, you can see that it says shortcut does not allow access to your location, so I say allow access. Otherwise, it's gonna ask you that when you start it for the first time. When I access your camera, I say allow access, want to um, allow to do the, the photos, I say allow access, and that's the text message going to send, and so on. And there we go, and the um, shortcut one to allow messages, I say allow access. So that is all that it's going to do, okay? So now, if I tap on done, and I run that shortcut, but this time I'm just going to use Siri. Actually, no, I'm not going to use Siri because my, phone, my microphone isn't that good, so I'm just going to tap on it. Okay, so there it shows me the coordinates and it says my name is, and I can um, type in Angelo. And I say done. And the important message, and say there's no one in here, I'm mean, so sorry, sorry. Okay, and there I can now send it via the, those mediums. I just say WhatsApp. And I can now select the person that I want to send it to. Okay. So now that now when when that is complete, 
In fact, let me quickly show you guys. Um, push it onto notes. So this is what it will look like. I'll just push it through to notes, just as an example. So it says, this is an emergency. This is my location. I've added address. My name is and call 91. Okay, I can change that information to uh, please contact this and that person within, that, with, within my shortcut. So I'm just going to say cancel. And if I go back into the shortcut again, and I go to the ellipsis because I want to make changes there. So yeah, I can, uh, we, there we go. Into my message text, I can go to, um, where it says, please call 911. I can change that and change it into a different message. And it will seem through, because you know we're not in the US where we have 911. Anyway, so guys, that is, how we can add in our different shortcuts. So you can add it via the gallery. You can add it via the shortcuts gallery.com. There are tons of other shortcuts that, that, that you can go into. If you guys in, in, ever want to know what type of shortcuts I use in general or Alan, you can just email us. And that's my presentation for today. Any questions? I don't have a question, but thank you very much. That was most informative. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate it. Uh, I didn't even know. Okay, I had... Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I didn't even know I had shortcuts as an app on my iPad. Uh, 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 sorry? Sorry, Bernard? I didn't know that I even had an app called Shortcuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly new edition. It came in, I think, with uh, iOS 13. It's 13, uh, yeah. Even 12. But it was uh, 12, yeah. It was yeah. a third-party application before that, which Apple bought, and now they've integrated into the operating system. Um, Caro, you had a question? Please, um, Angela. Thanks, Angela. Oh, sorry. Thanks, yeah, Angela. Carolyn, if you could just wait, we'll do Carol first, then Carolyn. Sorry, yes. Angela, on my phone, it won't al allow me to switch on allow untrusted shortcuts. Is there some reason for that? I can't. Um, it, it won't switch it on. Mm -hmm. um, try to maybe restart the phone, um, okay. Carol. I had that with my iPad yesterday. Okay. Um, try, try restarting it. If it doesn't, then, um, mm, yeah, but, but, but first try the restart. I'm very sure that's going to resolve that issue. Yeah. Thanks. So, so Guys, I'm still going to be I just ask, If I can just ask, particularly those of you who don't have your camera on, if you click on the participants tab, there is a raise hand button, and that way we can tell who wants to ask a question, and we will, we will get to everybody in sequence. Any more questions? Caroline? Yes, I'm a little bit scared now. Is it my turn? Yeah, sure, go for it. I'm sorry for interrupting all the time. No, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, please ask something totally different. Sure, um, go for it. My dad lives in another town than I do, and I do remote desktop uh, assistance for him. He's quite old. Is mm -hmm. there any way I can do remote desktop assistance on, on an on his iPhone? Um, I think there is a Teams. Mark, you might want to pop into this one. I think there are some applications that give you that functionality. Uh, Teams will allow you to do that. No. Um, no, not that I'm not that I'm aware of. It's very locked down, Alan. Um, even. Even Team Viewer, you, you're not able to to do it, but you are able to yeah. view what's going on. So you can talk to someone. Um, yeah, I meant Team uh, Viewer, yes. Yes, uh, Team Viewer from a basic sense, but you can't take control. You can only see what the other person is doing. So you can get sight of their screen and hopefully then be able to guide them, you know, say, press that icon there or do this there. Okay. Hashmuk, I think Hashmuk has uh, something he can contribute. Um, can you? 
Yeah, no, I think I've been playing around with Zoom itself. So with Zoom, you can share your screen, your mobile screen. Yes, but uh, once again, you can't take control of that person's screen. You can't take you control, just... but you can at yeah. least talk through and guide through. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Does that help you, Carolyn? Um, a little bit, thank you. <laughs> but you're welcome to talk to us thank offline. You yeah, we, can, we can spend some time with you. And you know, this okay. the um, pleasure. The um, the shortcuts we really this this is something where you could spend an entire day doing because unless you actually see the usefulness of it and or you've got something that you want to chain together, um, you won't really appreciate it. And, and the first time you do something that is awesome, you'll wonder why you never did, why you ever did this or never used it before. And I'll give you two examples for me. Prior to the iOS 12, when they introduced the, the file picker, the only way you could add attachments to email was one at a time. You'd have to add an attachment, open up the picker. You could, with, with shortcuts or with workflow at the time, you could run a shortcut that said, choose six pictures, choose however many pictures you want, and then send them on to an email to a person. And that just changed the whole way I used my iPad. One of the examples that Angelo gave you could be extended. So for example, when he's sending his message to Chantel um, and he said, I think I'll be home in about 20 minutes. You can actually, there's an action that will measure where you are, measure your destination, check the traffic, and then work out how long it thinks it's going to take for you to get home. So you don't even have to worry about that. In fact, Angelo, you could turn around and go back to the office if it's longer than 20 minutes and then send another <laughs> shortcut. <laughs> So it really is a fantastic application. I, I, I do encourage you to open it up, have a look at some of the canned shortcuts. And while it might seem a little daunting initially, really all there are is a series of steps that are chained together one after the other after the other that sends information from one to the next to the next and performs a series of tasks that typically you might not be bothered to do because it's just too much effort. Now you can do it with a single tap or you can add it as a Siri command and just speak to it. So my, when, I, when I'm leaving the office, I, I actually am not smart enough as, like Angelo to set it up as automation, but I just do a Siri action that says, alert Andy, which is my wife. And it takes the message, works out where I am, works out where, where, I'm go, where, where home is, and it sends a message saying, according to maps, I'll be home in X number of minutes. And it gives her three emoji kisses. So it's all very good. Um, anyone else have a question? You're all stunned. <laughs> um, okay, guys. Uh, so I cannot be like to get at work. Oh, she went off. No, Kara's there. Oh, okay. Uh, did it work, Kara, when you restarted the phone? No. Okay, no, well, no. we'll, 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 we'll look at it here. with you and have a look. Yeah. You might want to have a look at your privacy options. You might have disabled it before, and you might have to give it permission inside your yeah. settings. But we'll, we'll, we'll check that with you. Mm. So thanks once again, everybody, for pitching up. Angelo, tomorrow you're doing? Tomorrow I'm doing screen time. Yay. So if, you, if you want to, you know, the thing about screen time and using your computer is, is we lie to ourselves, whereas our computers don't. You know, so you say, I'm going to go onto Facebook for five minutes. And you go, oh, I was only on for half an hour, but really you were on for four and a half hours. And Screen Times monitors your use. You can set yourself limits. You can use um, family sharing to add your children, see how people are using their device, set limits by category. Very, very useful tool um, and keeps you honest. I don't use it. I, 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 I like lying to myself. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, as I said, our session for accessibility starts at 2.30. If you don't have and you can't get into uh, Quicket to book it, um, send an email to training at DigiCape and we'll send you a direct link. You're more than, uh, you're more than welcome to, to join it. Oh, I see Mark's just added screen sharing iPhone, iPad, Mac in the chat. So. Um, Carolyn, if you have a look in the chat, there's a link to an article about sharing your screen. Thank you, Mark. So thanks, thanks everyone Mark. for attending. Hope to see you in an hour's time. Otherwise, tomorrow or whenever. Great to see you. Thank you again. Okay. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye, all.